Hello, my name is Nicholas Cohen. I'm a family doctor, and I'm here to share with you some tips for pregnant women. Tip number one is to see your health care provider regularly. You should see your health care provider every month for the first 28 weeks of your pregnancy, every two weeks between the 28th and the 36th week, and weekly after 36 weeks up until delivery. Tip number two is you should take a multivitamin. All women who are planning pregnancy or even are capable of becoming pregnant should be taking a multivitamin containing folic acid, 400 to 800 micrograms, to reduce the risk of neural tube defects. Women who are already pregnant should take a prenatal multivitamin that also contains iron. Tip number three is to avoid tobacco, alcohol, and drugs. Tobacco, alcohol, and drug, drugs are not only harmful for the mother, but they are harmful for the fetus as well. They can cause growth restriction, miscarriage, and problems with brain development. Tip number four is to prevent infection. It's important if you're pregnant or planning becoming, to become pregnant to get your flu shot. You should also avoid people who are sick and should frequently wash your hands to prevent spreading infection. To prevent toxoplasmosis, an infection during pregnancy, avoid changing the cat litter box, don't eat undercooked meat, and wear gloves when gardening. Tip number five, avoid certain foods. There are certain foods during pregnancy that can be harmful to the fetus. These include fish that are high in mercury, including shark, swordfish, king mackerel, tile fish, and tuna. And you should limit all fish because all fish contain some amount of mercury, all fish and seafood, that is, to no more than two servings per week. You should avoid raw fish or sushi. You should avoid caffeine. You should limit your caffeine to less than 200 milligrams per day. It's recommended that you avoid sweet and low, which is, contains saccharin, although other artificial sweeteners are okay. You should avoid unpasteurized milk, which may cause listeria infection, as well as soft cheeses that contain unpasteurized milk, hot dogs, and luncheon meats. Tip number six is appropriate weight gain. It's important not to gain too much weight or too little weight during your pregnancy because gaining too much weight can have harmful effects on the fetus, such as adulthood obesity, diabetes, heart disease, as well as being large for gestational age during delivery and causing difficulties with the delivery. The appropriate weights if you are carrying a single fetus as opposed to twins or triplets is if you're underweight and you can ask your doc doctor or your healthcare provider what your BMI is but a BMI of less than 18.5 is considered underweight, then it's recommended that you gain 28 to 40 pounds during your pregnancy. If you are normal weight, which is a BMI of 18.5 to 24.9, it's recommended that you gain 25 to 35 pounds during your pregnancy. If you're overweight, which is a BMI of 25 to 29.9, it's recommended that you gain 15 to 25 pounds and if you are obese, which is a BMI of greater than or equal to 30, then it's recommended that you gain no more than 20 pounds during your pregnancy. Tip number seven. A common complaint of pregnancy is nausea and vomiting. What you can do to prevent this is take a multivitamin with folic acid. This will help prevent nausea. You can also avoid triggers that cause your nausea. This may be stuffy rooms, strong odors, heat, quickly changing a position, and not getting enough rest. It's also helpful not to let yourself get too hungry and to eat small, frequent meals. One food that helps is ginger. Ginger-containing foods can help, and they include ginger pop, lollipops, as well as ginger ale. If these measures don't work, you could try a combination of vitamin B6, or pyridoxine, 10 milligrams, as well as doxylamine, 10 milligrams. And you can take this once or twice a day. 
If symptoms continue, however, you should see your health care provider immediately. Tip number eight, another common complaint in pregnancy is backache. Low back pain is very common in pregnancy. Back pain can be reduced by squatting rather than bending over if you reach down, using a pillow to provide back support when sitting down, and avoiding high heel shoes. If your back pain is severe, you should see your health care provider immediately. Tip number nine. These are the signs and symptoms to report to your health care provider. If you experience vaginal bleeding, leakage of fluid from your vagina, uterine contractions, that's more than six in an hour that continue despite lying down, decreased fetal activity if you're not feeling the baby move. These are all signs that are important to report to your provider if you experience them. And tip number 10 is believe in yourself. Pregnancy is a great time to be alive and I hope these tips that I've provided for you will help with your pregnancy. Thank you for listening and have a great day.